Hello everyone, Josh first back again bringing you guys some more Seven Deadly Sins Grand Cross. Now I know my voice sounds like shit. Uh, my, my voice has been kind of gone for the past day and a half. Um, just been doing a lot of videos and stuff like that. Stressing my voice out. But you know what? That's not going to stop me from doing content. We'll be feeling better. You know how it is. But I want to take a moment to talk about what went down on PvP last week. Now I know I haven't really talked about this much, like if at all, on my channel and really outside of my Discord streams and some of my live streams on YouTube, a lot of you may not even know this. Apparently I'm a PvP player and I didn't even know it. No, for real though, I don't really play too much PvP, I never have been really known for playing PvP, but this game's PvP is so much fun, I've been enjoying it, and uh, I wanted to get to, uh, of course, Champ 1 to make good use of those rewards uh, every week for basically the foreseeable future. And uh, lo, and, lo and behold, I didn't even know this until I checked earlier this morning. But where are we at? Where are we at? Right there. Your boy got top 50 in the game. Didn't even know it. And uh, I probably could have pushed even higher. But when I get to champ one, I pretty much just do my one daily per day. And that's it. Because um, at that point, there's really nothing else to climb to climb towards except for of course getting your pvp points if you'd like to buy stuff from the pvp shop but i found doing geared pvp is a lot better for that but yeah your boy got ranked 44 in the game we're top 50 uh i don't know if i'm gonna be doing this every week but it's still kind of nice to know that hey hard work pays off and we got top 50 in pvp and uh, on the global side so i'll take it and uh i'll talk a little bit about my team we're gonna do a couple geared matches here right now um in case some of you are wondering um, I've already gotten back up to uh, champ one for this week, which you can see there. Um, four out of five, a little bit triggered. If you guys would have saw that fight, you would have laughed your ass off. I made a major misplay, and, I, and it cost me the game. So I'm, I'm a little bit triggered about that win rate right now. I'll, I'll get it up throughout the week, hopefully. But I'm a little bit triggered. I'm, you know, I'm just, I'm a little salty. But anyway, we're back up to champ one for this week. And uh, right now on Elite, I'm kind of working my way up on Elite right now. My goal to trying to get up uh, into the higher rankings because for geared PvP, um, obviously I'm not going to be trying for that kind of shit. I mean, Champ 1 would be fucking nice. But uh, really, I did, um, realistically, I might be aiming for Plat, maybe Master for geared. Because I know in geared, it's a little, bit, a little bit harder because if you start running into some of the Megalodon whales, the ones that have like fully awakened gear, full 6 out of 6 on ults, you know, completely six star awakened characters. It's gonna be a little bit of a bloodbath. But if I can at least get maybe up to master, I can I can live with that a thousand that thousand per week and three hundred thousand gold. I can live with that and be just be fine. Because that'll give me enough points plus whatever do throughout the week to start getting some of that UR uh, weapons from the actual PvP shop for like characters like Blue King, my green Jericho, etc. etc. So very, very cool. And I know we don't really talk too much about PvP here on the channel, but I thought this would be a cool little video to kind of like say, hey guys, your boy Josh first representing y'all out there in the community in PvP, you know? Hey. So um anyway, this is my uh, geared PvP team. It's pretty much the same as my normal team, except, you know, with gear. <laughs> so we got our girl Jericho. Now, Jericho right now, I've been really working hard on her gear, trying to get it somewhat where I need it to be. It's just very expensive. You can see here, here's her gear. She's chilling at almost 8,000 attack. Um, if we actually open this up, we are sitting right now at 46% crit chance, 252.7 crit damage, and uh, almost 40% crit defense, and then 24% lifesteal, which when you use her ult, that lifesteal becomes like almost 50% because you're gonna be doing double the crit damage off of her ult. So basically you do like 100k damage, you're gonna be getting like almost 50% lifesteal back. It's a little bit ridiculous. Um, that two times crit damage is crazy. And, then, and I cannot wait till after the update tonight because I'm gonna be getting that to level four at least. I cannot wait, I'm excited. More dupes for my Jericho. But anyways, let's go ahead and do a couple matches now. For geared PvP, there's a few things I like to do. One of it, one of which is, uh, where is my my goodies? Blaze chicken. I like to run the chickens because the chickens because they actually give me the points, and I'm really looking for points right now. Um, in these lower ranks, I'm trying to farm points in geared, so I can go buy stuff from the PvP shop. But I know some people they like to run, um, you know, CC 10% up to try and get a higher CP. Uh, I know some people like to run like attack up or crit chance up on geared, etc, etc, whatever they can do to try and get a slight advantage. Some people, if you run into a lot of the uh, lockdown meta like uh, Merlin 
and King, which is annoying, which is going to be more annoying if we get red uh, Helbrum, which, ugh, I don't even, I'm not even looking forward to that PvP meta. That's just brain dead meta. That's like fucking Sylvan's when he first came out in Duel Links. Just, it's just brain dead. You click OK and win. Um, but anywho, anywho, <laughs> anywho, let's get it on. All right, we uh, definitely want to take out their Jericho first. That is, like, always my top priority if I'm fighting in some kind of mirror match. I always want to take out their Jericho because I already know Jericho is the strongest character on the field. So, it's always common sense to try and take out the strongest character on the field. And there she goes. 63k crate. Goodbye. Good day. Sayonara. All right. Now, the next strongest character on the field we got to take out is King. So, what do we do, ladies and gentlemen? We take out King. <laughs> we take out King. Those Ignites could be a little bit troublesome because they do give you that additional 10% damage. But, but, it's fine. That, um, let's see here. Oof. Actually, maybe we should take out the Bond because he is almost at ult. And he does hit hard on debuff. Now, I could, I could cleanse that away, obviously. But, but. Yeah. We're going to go ahead and do this. Get those to break down. And then we'll do this. And then we'll do that. Um, hopefully we get some Jericho cards. Because I think, yeah, it might be in our best interest to actually get rid of that bond as quick as possible. Okay, we got what we needed. We got what we needed. Uh, we pulled in a two. Yeah, yeah. We're going to go double it. I could actually heal, to be honest. Yeah, we might actually heal that Jericho. Keep her alive a little bit longer. She's going to hit her three times. Okay. Uh, I couldn't remember where we were at <laughs> damage-wise right now. All right, so let's go ahead and... Um, mm, we're going to do this. Then we're going to do this. And then we're going to heal our Jericho. Okay, we are getting some crits. We get a if we get uh, a crit here. Ah, oh, no crit. If we would have got a crit, that would have been GG on his bond, and then we would have won no problem. Because Hendrickson, well, I mean, let's be honest, what's he gonna fucking do? <laughs> the bond's really the threat to my Jericho right now, but now that I'm not debuffed, I'm not as worried about it. He can still hit pretty hard though, because of the type advantage, obviously. Okay, he got Extort, which is fine. He's got, like, no HP left, so I'm not too worried about it. So there goes our, our beautiful, lovely Jericho. The apple of our eye. Our apple, of, the apple of our eye, man. <sighs> what a shame. What a shame, our beautiful Jericho. How would you do, how, how would you, like, like, come on, bro. Why would you go after our girl? Why? I mean, I know why, but I'm just being sarcastic. <laughs> I'm being a little bit sarcastic here, guys. Let me have let me have a little bit of fun here in PvP. Let me have a little bit of fun. All right, all right, Bond. Goodbye. Nice chunk of damage. <sighs> all right. He's been really not wanting to do much with his king, and that's going to be his downfall. Hendrickson. Yeah, Hendrickson is just complete ass. Put him in that Grimoire tier. Or Grimoire tier. <laughs> um, we're going to go ahead and heal. We're going to go ahead and uh, I guess we'll go for the king since he's lower. Because either way we have type disadvantage. And then we'll just go ahead and do that just in case for whatever reason it doesn't finish him off. But this, this game is pretty much wrapped up. Yeah, there we go. Oh. GG. You're not doing much with that, man. Yep, he surrendered. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and do one more fight for you guys since I had uh, a couple uh, left over from when I was climbing to uh, champ one. So I'm going to show you guys one more fight 
And I uh, hope you guys do enjoy the video, uh, as always. We just broke the 10-minute mark, so I hope you guys have all watched uh, a lot of Raid Shadow Legend ads. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But seriously, I hope you do enjoy. <laughs> all right. Waiting for opponent. Hopefully that opponent is our next victim. Oh, my. So we got a... Okay, ugh, I don't know. I don't know, this team kind of seems kind of meh. This team's kind of boring to me. This doesn't seem like it's going to be an interesting fight. So I do apologize if you guys were expecting like a high drama, high suspenseful fight to finish off today's video. But it doesn't look like that's going to happen here. I mean, they do have the Green Elizabeth, which is a bit annoying with her spam healing. A lot of people don't give Green Elizabeth the, the respect she deserves. She is very, very good in an assortment of ways in this game. In a lot of different categories, a lot of different game modes. Just an exquisite, an exquisite, or I should say, an exquisite unit. There we go. I'm trying to be fancy here on Josh first. Why? I don't know why. Hmm. Like I said, yeah, okay. So, <laughs> not a very... Not a very um, suspenseful finish there to that fight. No no drama there, guys. But you know what's going to be uh, very suspenseful and very dramatic? Tonight's maintenance. What unit is coming to the game? Are we getting Red Hellbroom? Are we getting Green Coin Bond? What all is going to happen? There's a lot of chaos in the air. We got coronavirus everywhere. Who the hell knows? Stay tuned tonight after maintenance because you know your boy Josh Furtz will be bringing you the content as soon as I possibly can which will probably be early in the morning after maintenance for me I think it'll be like around 5 6 a.m. something like that but anyways everyone hope you enjoy uh, the rest of your day wherever you are don't forget to tick notifications join us in the discord below and I'll catch y'all in the next one peace